you bring up lowland. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Bengal. If someone's visiting India and they ask me for advice, I say you simply absolutely must go to Calcutta. Uh, if you, to the extent you feel the same way, how would you articulate why it is people ought to go visit Calcutta? Because it's one of the most fascinating places on earth that is, um, you know, I, I, I mean, it's just a city that uh, is like no other um, with, a, with, a, with um, you know, um, a life, a cultural life, a history, uh, utterly its own and hard uh, and beautiful. Um, I mean, its beauty is not what one you know, sort of conventional, you know, people say, oh, well, is it a beautiful city? <laughs> well, well, no. I mean, yes, parts of it can be, yes, of course, um, but, but not in that conventional sense. Um, and it's, 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 it's challenging on a whole host of levels. And I, I, of course, you know, I don't know it as a tourist, right, because my family's from there and I've never known it in any other way other than when I was very young, where my grandparents lived, and then my aunts and uncles, my cousins, and so forth. Um, so I have my own relationship to it. Um, but um, you know, it's it's it it has its it's it's like it's like not knowing New York City uh, in the American context. I mean, it just it's 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 just its own thing, and it's so strong in its flavor and its power. Um, and its energy. Um, so, you know, um, it, it has to be reckoned with, you know, um, I think. And uh, If I think of Indian economists, the two of the best known would be Amartya Sen and Abhijit Banerjee, and they're both Bengali, of course. Why does it seem that so much of the Indian intelligentsia comes from Calcutta or Bengal? What is it in the water, so to speak? I don't know. I mean, um, I just, I know that they're, I mean, I hate to make these kind of sweeping generalized, generalized comments. I don't believe in them, but, um, but, but, you know, uh, it's a city that believes in its poets, um, that, that is a, uh, believes in its politics, uh, believes in its believes in humanity in some sense um and uh and 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 life is so extreme there uh in so many ways um people are put to the test and and you see life being put to the test constantly around you and and there's nothing you can really accept you know easily or take for granted about yourself or about the universe if you've been there you know, I mean, it just, it's a jolt, um, to, to your consciousness and, uh, but, a, but, a, but a fundamental one, an, an essential one, you know, to, to shake us out of this, whatever takes over if you protect yourself. Now, if I were to take a, a superficial reading of Indian history, earlier Calcutta is the central capital for the British Empire in India. And you could argue that as the British left India since World War II, Calcutta has become significantly less central in some ways. Delhi and Mumbai seem to become more important. A, do you think that's true? And B, if it is true, do you think that actually in part accounts for why Calcutta has stayed so interesting? That loss of centrality or existing on the margins. You even have a nice Italian word for this. Well, um, I think it's, it's, it's retained a certain character that um, uh, the other big cities, um, you know, have, have, have a more kind of Western overlay at this point, you know, um, I mean, Calcutta is not far behind and it's changed radically from, you know, the city I knew when I was a young girl. Um, and now I think with, you know, developments, globalization, what have you, um, you know, you have, lots of development and all the five-star hotels you could ever want and all the companies and banks and things and fancy roads and, you know, all of that stuff that back in the 70s, you know, Calcutta didn't have those things. And then the airport was 
you know, distinctly not glamorous and any, all of these things, you know, so you, you, you felt, you know, okay, this is a different kind of experience. Um, not, um, not designed for the tourist, not designed for the important person, you know, um, shall we say, um, but, and, and so now, so that has already changed and that, that distance is smaller, um, significantly smaller, but in, in some sense, you know, yes, I think it still retains its own particular flavor and energy, uh, because of this, maybe. <laughs> 